obviously uh, a lot of competition in like, on defensive line this yes. this fall. Uh, just wondering which guys have stood out so far as you've opened up practice. Well, you're right. There is a lot of competition. I think uh, that's the best part of it. You know, we've got guys competing with each other. I think the best part of them competing with each other is, uh, you know, they've grown into a really close brotherhood. So they understand we're going to compete. We're going to help each other, you know, uh, be the best. But we're also competing to play. But, uh, you know, right now, I think, uh, you know, Andre Carter, of course, he's been working his tail off the whole year, ever since he's been here, working his tail off. Uh, L.D. Cox has done a really good job, uh, you know, since the end of the season. Uh, P.J. Lucas, you know, and then we added uh, Philip Bleedy and uh, Marcus Burris doing a really good job right now. I got Sneed, you know, he's my young fella coming up and in. And uh, really, really excited about it. And then, of course, you know, Nick James, who got a little bit of playing time last year, uh, is doing a really good job, is in the mix. So I guess what you're hearing is I'm excited about the depth we've got and, like you said, the, the competition that we got going every single day. Uh, right here, Paul. Okay. I, it's, I asked Coach Allen the same question. In early days, when you're, when you're you know, first starting practice, what are some of the things that – you're looking to set guys apart at this stage. I know you still got a ways to go, but what are the things you're looking for? Attitude and effort early, uh, you know, and just trying to, to, to be the standard. So being, uh, you know, your mindset, physical, violent, aggressive, and then finishing, which is, break, we call it break the stack. When the ball is outside of my area, I'm breaking the stack. I'm going to the ball. And so energy, uh, effort, you know, physicalness, we still can get that, and, you know, in the way we practice, which is, uh, you know, what, who and what we want to be. Uh, but to me, and then to finish, the burst, to break the stack to the ball, and just being uh, explosive in those things. Hi, Coach. Um, when you guys were working on that inside zone drill, I think it was period 10 or 11, you guys um, talked a lot about the importance of physicality for both the <laughs> offensive and the defensive lines. Saw that. From in the past, I've understood that your defensive lines um, have maybe been asked to open up holes and allow the linebackers to make plays. Can you describe what kind of effort um, you guys are making this year to allow the defensive linemen to make more plays in the backfield with the increased size and depth that you've talked about? Absolutely. And, and to me, I think it does, you know, not sure about the past, but for us, uh, our guys, I think we are bigger and, 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 and more athletic, right, which allows for more playmakers, guys that can do the same thing, right, take two. You know, our whole thing is two for one. I tell them Miss Randolph loved two for one sales, right, so we love to go two for one. If we can do that, the linebacker's going to be great. And if we're doing that, the linebacker's going to pull one of them off of us at one point. Now we've got to be ready to make the play. And I think we are athletic enough now to make the play when it's presented to us. But for me, I tell my guys, we're going to make plays through our responsibility. So if you're straining through your responsibility, you will make the plays that you're supposed to make. And then if you want to be an All-American, you have outstanding fanatical effort and make plays on the sideline. Yeah, we left the mic. Hey, Coach. You mentioned uh, Andre Carter and uh, Vincent Snead there. And I was going to ask you, I know in the spring you guys were moving Andre around a little bit. Depth's always important, but to have the ability to move him around and plug somebody on that end spot who doesn't really miss the beat, I guess how important is that for you? And then, I guess, at that DN spot, what kind of depth are you seeing being built behind Andre? Well, right now I think it's, it's uh, a lot of depth. And, uh, and what you don't know is big Marcus Burris is actually at DN too. Now, and, and, and truthfully, it's crazy because he's 287 pounds and he moves like he's 250. Uh, but, uh, but that depth, you know, between uh, Andre being able to do both inside or out, Marcus uh, Burris being able to do both inside and out, naturally Sneed is an outside only guy. But uh, to be able to move guys in and out and then inside, they're interchangeable also. You know, my noses can play three techniques. My three techniques can play nose. And so that's how we're creating depth at every position. Uh, has this been a unique circumstance with six new guys? I mean, have you had anything like this in your career? And, and did you kind of take pause and try to think about how to approach uh, rebooting like this? It's almost like free agency with you guys where you've brought in so much talent, <laughs> lost so much talent. And, and did you take time to think about that? And how have you, has that changed your approach at all uh, this year? 
Uh, well, for me, right, uh, the excitement of the new guys, for one, uh, when you do have all new guys that are, you know, trying to feel their way and make their mark, right, you get that competitiveness. You get competition. And uh, we all know competition breeds greatness. And so, to me, that's the best thing about it to me. You got six new guys. They're all fighting for three spots, right? And so, it's going to be heightened every single day, the level of competition. And we do every day. We grade it every day. They know how they fared every single day. Uh, but for me, uh, I think adding the guys in, I think it's about your room. In my room, I think the best thing I got is great character young men. I do. And so when you bring in new guys, they welcome them as a brother, but we're going to compete. <laughs> right? We're going to love you. We're going to bring you in, but, but we're going to compete. And, you know, and that's where LEO comes in at. You mentioned Vincent Sneed and Nick James, the two young guys. I remember last fall, Coach Allen said that they didn't physically look like freshmen when they when they were freshmen. <laughs> I guess now that you've had a year to work with them, what, what do you like about just what they bring and where do you want to see them keep keep improving? Well, for Vincent first, right, Vincent has put on 30-some-odd pounds in a year, so he's actually bigger. He didn't look like a freshman last year. Now you really don't because he, he's up to 260-plus pounds, which is where we needed him. Uh, so he's done an awesome job doing that. Uh, and then now it's just about because uh, he's missed uh, spring. So now he's just working to catch up, you know, with all the fundamental techniques. But being explosive, his athleticism, right, his work ethic, those are the things that we love about him. Nick is explosive, 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 right? And, uh, of course, you know, his weight's up where we want it to be. So we're excited about him and, uh, you know, the athleticism that Nick, all of them, but that Nick possess, you know, is going to allow him to be a playmaker also. But you're right, those two young guys, uh, you know, they've got a chance to help us add depth and then also uh, to be playmakers for us also.